Um, installing a driver, let's jump into this really quick, quickly. The ins driver installation is quite simple, especially in the USB as a local printer. Now that we've got the WHQL drivers, um, um, it's quite a bit more simple. You install the CD, click on next, it'll clean it out any other printers in there, any other IDP smart printers in there. Um, it will load the drivers itself and then you'll connect. But with any printer, the USB printer, never attach the printer before you're told to do so in the driver because we want to make sure those ports are assigned correctly and Microsoft doesn't start installing generic USB devices on the port we need. We also recommend that at this point, after the driver is installed, that your customer makes a copy of the CD and puts it on their C drive or their server somewhere. Because what happens is that three years from now, a month from now, they need to get they may need to get into the utility tools to update the firmware or to adjust their color settings, and we need that CD. Those tools are on the CD, so make sure that they put that somewhere on their drive. If your customer is installing a networked printer, so if they want to install the Smart 51. N network machine, they can do so in a couple different ways. The default is DHCP, um, so basically the IP address is assigned automatically, and it's pretty simple to do. You click on the TCP IP button and just make sure that the printer you want to install is on your network already, and then you should be able to see it. If you don't see it, click the refresh button and um, try to find it then. If you still don't find it, then please talk to your administrator. Um, the IDP's drivers do require administrative pass or sorry, administrative privileges on your PC and on the network. So if you're not able to see um, the network printer, So if you're not able to see the network printer, then please make sure that you've got the proper privileges to be able to do so. So once the DHCP printer is installed, you're ready and set to go. But if you'd like to have a static IP, so if you want to assign an IP address specifically for that printer, um, you can do so. Um, first you set the machine up using the DHCP just like we showed you a second ago and then you jump into the utility tools on your CD and go to the net admin option and then that will fire open the net admin tool so this tool is very helpful obviously it's got a lot of other things in there other than just setting up a static IP address like our Wi-Fi option which we're gonna launch here in the next couple of months so again, you're going to select the printer that you've already installed on the network and you connect to it. The password is admin and the user ID is admin. And then you click static. And then you can change the IP address to whatever you'd like it to be. Set the configuration, the machine's going to automatically reboot, and then you're ready to go. So once you've done that, the you have to reinstall the driver. So the driver you first started to install is installed on that DHCP. Um, but now that we've changed the IP address, we need to install the driver again. Um, so the best way to do that is just to do a traditional install. So you basically go to Devices and Printers, and you add a printer. So then it's going to look for it, but we recommend that you just click on the next button. And you add a TCP IP printer, and then you type in the IP address of the unit that you've um, just installed. The port name, it's very important to put IP underscore in the port name, and next. So this process does take a little longer depending upon your network and the response of it and all those sorts of things. We've sped it up here. Uh, but it might take a couple of minutes to, to find everything. So it's standard network card. We're detecting the printer module. Again, this may take a little bit of extra time. And then it's just click the Have Disk button. 
and browse to the CD and then go to the Smart 51 installation CD, Smart 51 folder, and then the INF folder, or sorry, the INF file, and click OK. So once that's installed, you're ready to print.